Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some Target darts today. We have the Ash Black Edition. These are the 80% tungsten ones. Looking really, really interesting. It, obviously, we've got that long torpedo shape. And with this coating, it looks like it might add a little bit more grip. But uh, what we'll do is we'll head over to the table and we'll have a closer look. Okay, so we're over the table. We've got the Ash Black Edition darts here. These are the 80% tungsten ones. Uh, got a lovely image of him here at the front. Full setup of the dart image right down the centre. Um, obviously, we've got the Ash on the left and the Target logo showing there. We've got the SP24 gram, 80% tungsten. Over on the back shows you what we have in the box. Just here tells you everything in there. It shows you here that you get that dart wallet, which is really nice. It's a little extra. You can keep them nice and safe in your pocket. You've got the asp fight and a close up there of parts of the grip of the dart. Got asp up here on that snakeskin pattern boxed image and then target logo and obviously their guarantee and Swiss point. We'll get the darts out, have a close look. Oh, a little bit stiff. Right, so first off, you got this dart wallet here. Shows it a nice big target logo. Obviously, it's a nice soft leather, so it's going to keep it in your pocket so they don't get damaged. Um, the actual dart themselves come in this plastic insert. Um, not smart looking, really. It does what it needs to do. It keeps everything in place and nice and safe. You've got the ass flights there. That red on black really stands out. SP point tool. Then you've got like a very shallow target point holder holding the three darts, which really stand out that grey. Um, even though these are the black edition, obviously it is more of a grey than a black. But uh, I think it looks really nice. And it adds that extra sort of textured grip, I feel. Um, but uh, yeah. We got a standard SP point at the front in the black, which is good, adds a bit of extra grip on the board. Then we've got this tapered nose going up into this almost narrow ring grip section, which is just at the front. I'd say it's about 10 mil from the front to the back of those rings. Um, it's a nice area if you've got your front finger on there, obviously. Then we've got a, sta a slightly wider ring there before we go into this twin ring. And there's only two of them with that bright red so like groove either side. But there's three of those grooves and two of the ring grips. Um, the front section of that ring grip is slightly narrower than the back section. So it is a different type of grip. It feels quite nice. My fingers are going in the groove quite well. Then it tapers from this section. So that's only about a third of the dart. And then we've got to have this long taper all the way back to the smooth section with this grip going all the way. So you've got lots of area there to play about with your grip. Um, the actual taper itself, um, feeling at the midpoint and at the back, you can feel the difference in the width, but it's nice to have a push point. Then you, this again is that same sort of ring grip that's at the front. Um, quite a decent groove there. It feels really nice. This coating at really does add extra grip which is nice um, but yeah it's an evenly spaced ring then we have this silver smooth section with the target etched logo before we go into the pro grip stem uh, it's a short stem which is good so you can play about there the actual dart itself feels really nice it's quite a substantial difference really between the back and the front the measurements for this one because these are the 24 gram these are 7.5 mil at the widest section and they are 52 millimeters long. Um, so quite a long dart. Um, obviously, if you take off this smooth section here, the actual grooves and everything, I'd say it's more, I'd say whew, 44 mil um, from the front to the back of that. But it, yeah, it feels nice. You've got plenty of room there to grip. Whether you're mid or rear, you're going to keep this ring section and the front grips going to have that wider section. Um, feel really, really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to having a throw. So uh, I think we'll head over to the board. OK, so we're over at the board. We've got the Ass Black Edition. These are the 80% ones. Got a lovely shape to these. It gives you a nice sort of push point. I think I'll hold slightly forward on the thicker section rather than thin bit right at the back. But that coating gives it that little bit more extra grip, which is really, really nice. We'll have a couple of throws before we go into our 201 practice routine just to see how we get on. So let's have a go. Oh, very tight though. 
43. That's very, very tight in the treble one there. And a nice steady ton. I made the adjustment quite nicely. So, yeah, I think we can do all that. We always like a nice steady ton. So we'll go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. One hundred and forty. Great start there. Sixty one left to get. That was really tight grooving with those two trebles. And there we go in two darts. That's a lovely set there. Five darts in total. Well, what can I say? If I could play like that, I think I could give Asp a game himself. But uh, yeah, let's go have a final review on these. What can I say? I think I've done fantastic with these. Five darts. I was over the moon. Starting off with the ton 40, 61 in two dart finish. Felt really, really nice. I got a lovely consistent release. Um, quite a longish sort of torpedo shape, but it's given me a nice push point to go by. And that sort of like ring grip felt okay as well. That coating did make a difference. Um, I'm only giving them a grip rating of two. Um, you may think that's really, really low for them, but like I said, with my finger and thumb, they don't fit into the grooves as well as some people. So to me, it wasn't over grippy, but it was grippy enough for me to get a lovely consistency and some lovely grouping in there as well. Um, these come in with the 24 gram at 52 millimeters long and 7.5 millimeters wide at the widest point. Um, obviously, if you're gripping at the back, it's going to be slightly thinner, but I, I think that's working really, really well. And like I said, you're still getting a nice grouping point and you've got that lovely push point. The weights you can get these in are 22 and 24 grams. So not a massive selection, but that's right smack round where most sort of like darts players are playing from now. Where if you are throwing heavier, most of them are sort of like coming down to a lighter dart if they're wanting to get a bit more grouping and consistency um, again they are a really nice dart if you can get to a dart shop and try them before you buy that's fantastic or if somebody else has got a set and um, the price point for these i think is relatively good 48.95 i know they are only 80 percent tungsten but it with the extra coating and everything and you get don't forget you get that extra dart wallet in there as well which is nice little handy thing to have um i think that's a relatively good price point it's dead smack it's sort of like middle line i suppose you're not overspending so you're not breaking the bank either um i do like them um if you sort of like agree or disagree with anything i've said head down into the comment section and let me know i do try and communicate back to people and try and sort of like engage with everyone as well um if you sort of like got a set coming or you've got a set now leave a comment it might help somebody may else make their mind up whether or not it's going to be the right dart for them as well head over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv there's loads of stuff on there for everyone and as always make sure you tip subscribe and tick the notifications and there's loads of reviews coming up in the future hopefully there's something just right for you and hopefully you'll come back and see us again soon bye